This evening, we have a unique new perspective of a massive crime crackdown that we learned about yesterday. It took years of street level work to make the federal case against the Minneapolis street gangs. The U.S. attorney says that agents arrested and charged 45 alleged gang members. Only on WCCO, Reg Chapman spoke with an officer embedded with the federal agents. The streets of North Minneapolis has been his office for almost two decades. Working with Safe Streets, Sergeant Dave Lignil came to know gang members and how they move. I've been working on members, the various members of um, the gangs that comprise the highs since 2009. He was selected to work alongside U.S. attorneys to help stop the violence associated with street gangs. If it's three or more people and you're all benefit, benefiting from the crimes that you're doing, um, then you're able to be federally prosecuted as the organization or a group. This is the territory of three of those groups, the highs, the lows, and the bloods. Charges against members of the highs and bloods include more than 20 shootings and seven murders. I am all about trying to have community-based solutions. I'm all about trying to in intervene and prevent violence before it occurs. But at the same time, we have to face reality. Uh, and there is really just an unacceptable amount of gun violence in the city. Uh, and to the extent where some of it is organized by criminal street gangs. Chief O'Hara says state, local, and federal officials had no choice but to throw everything at them. They're making a lot of money. Yeah, and uh, we're not holding back at all. I mean, the IRS was involved in this, uh, the postal inspectors. I mean, we're looking at white-collar crimes and throwing those on there also. So. O'Hara says collaboration of law enforcement in Minnesota resembled days of old. War room sort of, uh, you know, like they did, like prosecutors did years ago, you know, prosecuting the Gambino family. Connecting gangs to organized crime includes a years-long pattern of violence, including murders, shootings, acts of retaliation against rival gang members, dealings in fentanyl, and robbery. Because of all the work that the attorneys, the investigators, um, information from the community, um, as well as, you know, other um, pieces of the evidence of the case, um, I, I think it will stick, yes. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. Chief O'Hara says that more, more charges are in the works, so expect more arrests of members of Minneapolis street gangs.